Hello, in this video I am going to cover texture coordinates. So we've got this cube and I've changed up the texture. So from the tutorial where we apply the texture, I'll use one of these. I've added this checkered texture. It's just easier to sort of demonstrate how texture coordinates work with this one, but the principle is the same with all of them. And the other thing, okay, so what we want to do, I'm just going to make this stop spinning so it's just easy to demonstrate but the principle is the same on all sides to make it stop spinning uh, go down here change it all to zero and I'll refresh that page there we go before we go onto this and get onto this let me show you a couple of these images these are actually some of the images that I learned or I used to learn back in the day so this is how essentially UV coordinates work. So texture coordinates, they're based on the UV system. And so what happens is, imagine if we have this texture, and they range between zero to one, zero to one. Ignore the fact that I've got negative one in there and so range between negative one and one. There's a reason why I'll explain that in a second. That's not to do with texture coordinates, but I'll explain that in a second. So if I wanted to, to in this case, just get this little texture part what you would do is say zero zero which is the bottom left and zero one which is the bottom right and then it will be one one which is the top right so you will get this triangle that's assuming you're going in an anti-clockwise way if it's clockwise it'll be the other way around but the principle is the same and depending on what you know value you put on it will change you know what part of the texture you are getting so this is actually split up into two triangles and that's how the texture is applied so what do these numbers apply to this is just another image just to show how it applies so what these numbers apply to is if we scroll up to where we actually specify the vertices and the texture coordinates we're just going to focus on this one the front one because that is the one that is we are facing these numbers apply to the actual position of each vertex this is the text coordinates the uv coordinates so one one the first one is the top right so i'm going to make a comment here top right next one which is one negative one so one negative one which is bottom right and then the next one should be the bottom left which it is because again we're going in a anti-clockwise fashion bottom left and then the top what next one should just be the one that's the main so top left which it is okay so to get the first you know triangle you get these three corners so top right so one one then one zero which uh, sorry not one zero one negative one which is this one then we get negative one negative one which is this one so you get this little triangle right here and then the process is basically repeated the exact same way so we go from bottom left to top left to top right so if it's these three coordinates first then after that it's this coordinate this coordinate and this coordinate so it basically flips back around but we're just going to deal with these coordinates for now and watch what happens because the bottom right coordinate is only used in this triangle because in this triangle these two coordinates are used these two coordinates are used for both triangles so if i only modify this you know coordinate it won't affect this texture that has been applied so instead of putting or the bottom right instead of putting one zero which on the texture itself would be one zero which would be you know again just the bottom right it's the same principle but one one what do you think is going to happen i'll read those we just get all black so what has actually happened it starts at one one it goes to one one again but then what happens is it goes to zero zero which is the bottom left coordinate and basically because it's all black throughout it is just getting the black line watch what happens if i instead of modifying that one now if i modify the bottom uh, do this. 
bottom right. So we would get that. Ah, I'll modify the bottom left. So that is basically just the same thing as this. So it basically starts there, goes down there, and then it just stays there. So it's basically just going to be this line. Ignore the top left, this triangle. This will change because some of the co coordinates are shared, but that's not the one that we want to focus on. So we'll save that, go back, refresh. So we're alternating between black, white, black, white, black, white. So what's basically happened, it's gone, you know, down here and, you know, the other way around. So it's gone white, black, white, black, and it's basically just applying the texture all the way through it. This is slightly distorted because, again, some of the textures or coordinates are shared. So that's it. That's really all you need to know. So that is actually pretty powerful. So if you wanted to do something like, I don't know, so if that's bottom right, so this will be back to normal. If instead of bottom right, I put like five. As you can see, it's it's basically instead of going to the bottom right all the way there, it's gone to about here. So it's essentially got a triangle like that and it has a slightly distorted image but that does mean you can just get portions of a texture the part that you need and just apply that so that's great if you have a huge texture and different parts of it are required for different models because it is more effective to load one texture in sometimes than to load multiple small textures because there is extra overhead per loading of texture so that's fantastic if you let's say have one model and maybe that model needs to for example, you want to apply a different face, different texture per face. You can use this system, have a texture that have different, essentially, textures. And using the coordinate system, you could apply different ones. But that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. What I recommend doing is actually experimenting and figuring out how to use this technique to apply a different texture to each face. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.